welcome to the channel. Welcome to this new series in Football Manager 2021 with Paris Saint-Germain. Now, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on. Um, it's not just going to be a normal PSG save. It's going to be, as you can probably tell from the title and the thumbnail, it is going to be a director of football challenge. I'm going to hand over all control over everything to do with transfers, contracts, hiring and firing, Everything like that is going to be handed over to our director of football. I'm not even going to be hiring and firing him. Um, it's whoever's in charge at the moment. Um, and then it's going to be down to the chairman, the owners, Qatar, basically, um, to decide who is our director of football. And it's down to the director of football to decide what staff we hire and fire, what players we sign, what players we sell, what youth players we release. I am going to have nothing to do with that. All I'm going to concentrate on is the coaching side. It is generally how it runs at most European clubs and it's widely becoming a, th a thing in uh, in England as well. Um, I did it a couple of years ago with Barcelona, you may remember if you were a subscriber back then. Um, the problem I had with that save was that it was with Barcelona, I, a club I love, uh, with players I love, um, and that was a mistake. If you're ever going to do this sort of save, don't do it with a club you support. I'm with PSG and I don't like them. I, cannot, I have absolutely no attachment to them whatsoever. Uh, push comes to shove in France, Marseille would be the team that I would look out for results-wise. Um, so I have no no interest. If they sell Kylian Mbappe, if they let him go on a free, Neymar, don't care. Do not care. Um, so here we go. This basically what we're going to do here is we're just going to have a look at what transfers were done in real life. I am doing it with the winter update. Um, I will just point that out. Um, we'll have a quick look at the finances, which we'll do now. I'm not expecting an awful lot to happen in this summer window because they do only have 41 million. They've got 430 odd million in the bank and only 40 million in the transfer kitty. Why not? I don't know why. Um, the wages aren't that high. I mean, they're, you know, 4.2 million a week. I mean, there should really be a little bit more money in there. I don't think they made any major signings. Um, we have got one that's already sorted out. Uh, it's Danilo Pereira. Um, he is he's on loan at PSG um, and then it's a it's a mandatory buy but quite like the look of him. He's a decent looking player. Um, transfer history then let's have a quick look. So they've only spent five and a half mil and that was on Sergio Rico um, presumably a backup goalkeeper. Um, Rafinha came in from Barcelona on a free. Alessandro Florenzi came in from Roma. I like him. He's on loan. Is there an option for him? Not that it matters, there is. Be interesting to see. I like the look of him. Be interesting to see if um, if they make that a, a, um, a deal. Moise Kane, which if you've been watching my Kaiserslautern series, you will know um, that we've got him there. Is there any options on him? No, it's just a straight up loan. In terms of players going out, they only sold 4.8 million and it was Loic Mbeso who went to Nottingham Forest um, for big, big money, 4.6 million. That is a lot of money for a championship club to spend. Uh, we'll have a quick look at the schedule. We do have friendlies. I'm not going to do any of these. I'll explain what's going to happen in a second. Um, but today we are also going to see the game against Lorient, the uh, the league earn opening day. Um, and there will obviously still be a little bit of time left of the transfer window. But um, yeah, we, we will do it. I was wondering about going on to, and playing nonce and then we'd be through the transfer window. But no, we'll watch the first game. We'll watch the um, the, fir the first match of the season. Um, we do have some clauses. Doesn't matter. I can't do anything with those. Uh, what I haven't done at the moment, which I'll do off camera, is I haven't set everything in the responsibilities. But I will do that. Um, so obviously, in terms of... Uh, the staff. This, in fact, we'll do a little bit of it now. We can, you know, we delegate absolutely everything. Um, just click that delegate button, and it will put it on the um, the best suited player, uh, best suited member of staff for that job. That's all of those done. I'll just confirm that. I'll go in and do the rest because there's a lot, as you can see. There's a lot of stuff I have to delegate. A uh, quick look at the squad before we do. Um, so we'll sort it by position. So we do have Kalon Navas, um, but he's out for a few weeks. Sergio Rico could well be the um, the first choice at the start of the season, perhaps. Alphonse Ariola is away at Fulham on loan. I'm kind of expecting a goalkeeper maybe to come in. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a fabulous squad, as you would expect. It's quite a small squad there. We might have some players in the reserves, but I can have a look at that. I mean, it's going to be nice. One reason I've done this is I just want a little bit of fun towards the end of FM21. Um, a lot of my saves are generally trying to build a club up. Um, inevitably, 
and maybe don't quite hit the heights I was hoping for. Kaiser's Light went all right though. That didn't go too badly. Um, but I just want some fun. Um, but I don't want to be in charge of the transfers. I just want to see what happens. So what we are going to do now is I am going to um, I'm going to holiday through. I'm going to not even pick a tactic at the moment because my thoughts are if you have if you have a tactic in in your tactic slot, if you have a tactic preset, then presumably your director of football is going to buy players for that tactic. Now I want to add to the challenge by just letting him sign whoever he wants and I will find a tactic to go around, uh, to fit around it. And what I'm going to do at the end of the season is I'm going to clear down all the tactics that I've, I've loaded up. Um, so we're back to square one. And again, just because it'll add to the fun of seeing who we sign. And what we'll do is we'll sim through from the, from the, final whistle of the final league earn game or the uh, Coupe de France or the Champions League final or the Europa League final um, we'll just sim through to basically the um, the start of September um, and we'll oh sorry not even the start of September mid-August and we'll and we'll see what the director of football has done speaking of shall we quickly meet him where is he here he is um, he is Leonardo of course it is so he was he's, he's had a he's had an interesting career hasn't he so he, he was a player for many, many years, played for Milan, played for PSG. Um, he was PSG's director of football 2011 to 2013. Went over, was he out of the game there then? Because um, he went to Antalya Sport in 2017 as manager. That didn't go well. Went back as a director of football at Milan and at PSG where he is now. His ratings are all right and he's got some good knowledge. So I would expect some decent signings from this guy. Um, and of course, the other big member of staff that we're going to need is our head of youth development. This is what I'm going to focus on is, well, the facilities, but I'm guessing they're good. I'm guessing that's not an option. Um, he doesn't look amazing, but he's on a four year deal. So I imagine he's going to be here the whole time that we are. Uh, right, let's just have a quick look at the, um, I mean, the facilities are going to be amazing, aren't they? They're, go they're going to be. Um, stadium condition is only good. Pitch condition is perfect. Top, excellent, superb, excellent, excellent. So the only thing we maybe could do is try and, well, I, th I think there probably is a little bit we can maybe do there, but yeah, that is basically what we're gonna do. As I said, I don't have a tactic loaded up yet. Not gonna do that just yet until basically two days before the Lorient game. I also wanna see what our assistant manager does when it comes to the friendlies, what formation he plays, because that'll be interesting. Um, who's our assistant manager? Do we have one? Let's have a quick look and then we will sim through. We don't, oh, we do have an assistant manager. It's Miguel D'Agostino. Not amazing, but again, not something, oh, he's on a five year deal as well. Not something I can, I can do anything about. Um, assistant manager maybe should be something that I can do on a director of football, but I'm taking everything out of my hands just to make it easy. No gray areas, I can't do anything. So without further ado, let us skip forward to just before that Lorient game and we will see what, if any, transfers have been made. Right, we are on the 20th of August. We are three days out from our first match of the season. Um, I've, I've simmed through and I, I've gone away. I've left the computer um, for 10 minutes or however, you know, a few minutes that it took to sim through. Got 150 emails, as you can see. I'm going to be really interested to see what's happening in the transfer window because I'll I'll come on to it. But there is quite a possible, quite a big chance that we sign Zlatan. Um, it, whether this has gone through or whether this is just an offer that's been made, I don't know. We're about to find out. But it's quite possible that Zlatan Ibrahimovic is back in the French capital. So let's have a look. Um, we will mark them all as red because it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's. What should we have a look at first? The friendlies or the trans the transfers? Because obviously, if we have signed players and they've scored in the friendlies, kind of gives it away a little bit, doesn't it? So let's see what's happened. Uh, Colin Dagva, uh, promising right back at the club. He looks like he could be on his way out on loan. Um, where's he going? Run, Ren. Um, Romelu Cardoso. Um, it's. A transfer for him to come in. Um, guessing that's for the um, for the for the youth team. 
Right, this is the one then. Let's have a look. Have we signed him? No, we haven't. Okay, that's interesting. In fact, nothing has happened. Nothing has happened at all. Um, should we have... Uh, uh, this is interesting. So what has happened? Oh, they've accepted the offer. We've offered three point... Where is it? Has he rejected us then? Is it, is it a story further up? No. Oh, he's con cancelled contract to go. He was obviously not interested in coming back. Okay, well, that's not a massive issue. It's a, it's a shame because he's a really, really good player, obviously. Um, the, now, the problem the problem I've got as well, I was thinking about this while, I, while it was sinning through. Um, if you go to the go on holiday bit, then you've got accept all offers to players, only accept offers matching asking price and reject all offers. Now, I was a bit unsure of which one to set it to there and only sell transfer list of players wasn't an option at the time. So I'm guessing there's been a fallout and someone is now transfer listed. Um, so I had it as only accept offers matching asking price. But the problem is none of the players have got asking prices. So I'm a little bit worried that this is going to go wrong. Um, so we'll see how it goes because I might have to set it to accept all offers. I might have to only sell transfer listed. I don't know. We'll have to um, we'll have to see what happens. And the other thing I was thinking is, um, because I didn't have a tactic set up, does that mean that they've not bought any players because there's no tactic to buy for? Is is that maybe a thing? So that's something I'm going to have to have a have a think about as well. Maybe I just need to have a tactic set up. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to um, go away, come back in time for the match, and uh, and build a tactic. Right, first day of the season, we are away at Lorient, who are newly promoted. If we have a look at the season preview, the teams that came up were Lons and Lorient, so they will be down at the bottom along with Dijon, Metz, Nîmes, Brest, Strasbourg. Uh, obviously, we are massively odds on to win. No pressure then. Um, we haven't made any signings but we did have an offer for Chiro Immobile turned down and I mean I'm not surprised it was 41 and a half million he's valued at 43 he's an absolute legend at Lazio he's not transfer listed he's happy to be at the club I don't know why we made the offer for him but we did um, we've got a couple of players Bernat and uh, Julian Draxler are potentially um, uh, potentially leaving or they've got stories of interest uh, we have got do we we've got Kaelan Avas back but he, we've got a lot of players who are not particularly fit as you can see because um, I don't know what my assistant has done during pre-season I mean we've won most of the games if you have a look we only had a couple of draws against Dinamo Kiev and Travis Onsport Mauro Icardi has been banging the goals in getting five um, Neymar despite the fact that he's still injured has played five matches in pre-season and got three goals three assists um and yet he's, he's been injured since well he, unless he did he come back let's have a look where is he let's have a look did he come back and then get another injury is that a thing no oh he got injured against Trabs on sport was he not injured at the start when we maybe he wasn't maybe he wasn't he got injured against Trabs on sport Maybe he wasn't injured when we when we started. Don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but he is going to miss today's game, I think. Um, yeah, not recommended to be selected. But he should be back for our next game. So let's get into it, and we'll show you what we um, what we are doing tactics wise. So at the minute it's a four three three kind of thing, based on the Gagan Press preset. But I have made a couple of little changes, changed the mentality, changed a couple of the in uh, in possession things um we've got it to standard width um yeah i think we'll have it fairly wide because i'm playing inverted wingers inside forwards whatever um tempo is set to extremely high but i'm just gonna have it on higher i think haven't really got anything here uh we can have be more expressive um we could have run at defense as well couldn't we because we've got mbappe and neymar and di maria i haven't got anything here um, because we've got a lot of players who can hit long shots and I don't want to discourage that. Um, I did originally have an attacking midfielder and it was a 4-2-3-1. But I've moved it back 
because Marco Verratti is a central midfielder uh, rather than an attacking midfielder, and obviously he's one of our best players. He's back fit. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to upset him. So we're gonna we're gonna bring him on in the second half at some point. Um, and yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. It's, it's going to be interesting. Um, it's 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 funny because as soon as I set a tactic, we made an offer for Chiro Immobile, which I found very very odd. And I wonder. You see, my whole idea was that I would go into each season not knowing what my squad was going to be, not having a tactic in mind. Um, but it looks like I'm going to have to have a tactic set up so that they buy players because it looks like they might not do it otherwise. So that'll be interesting. Oh, damn it. I didn't change it. He's done my ah, he's done my stuff. He's done my team talk for me. Let me, I can change that here, can't I, actually, I think. Take control. Um, I forgot all about that. I hadn't changed it back. I ha there's certain things I haven't gone back through and changed, which I need to be in control of during the season. Um, so I'll have to um, I'll have to do that. So let's get that out of the way. Let's get our first match of the season underway. It's one that we should be winning. Um, oh, I've got to sort everything out though. The usual things. Uh, we do have it as a. Do we have it as TV? Yeah, I think we normally do. I do like the camera being a bit higher, but it does need to be zoomed in a fair bit. And key highlights is good. I think everything else is all right. Oh, replay events. Goals disallowed, disallowed offside, missed penalties, clear cut. Yeah, that's fine, that'll do. Right. Oh, header came in from Kimpembe and went over. Would be an unlikely scorer of our first goal. As Why does it do this? Always, always does this, doesn't it? You have it set how you like to have it set and then it just completely changes it when you start a new game. Right, let's drop a little encouraging. This is going to be interesting as well because obviously I'm playing with a completely new tactic. Um, which I've built. Why is Florenzi taking that free kick? Didn't realise it was one of his strengths. It's not going to be a penalty. Mbappe's picked it up. Bernat, Danilo. Good interchange. Nice ball out to Florenzi, who's found his way back out to his normal position. Marquinhos. Kimpembe. This is good passing. I've got it slipped to shorter. As Bernat comes into the area. Whips it across and it's in from Moise Kane. He's playing up front. Um... Because we've got Neymar out and yeah, he's he's playing up front at the minute. So I'm quite happy with that. That's a good start, although it's a brilliant finish. Although I probably should have Mario Cardi there, considering he's our player and Moise Kane's only on loan. But I wouldn't mind Moise Kane coming in on a permanent deal, to be fair. It's mad, isn't it? He's at PSG. And yet I had him at Kaiserslautern. <laughs> that is mad. He is Rafinha. On his debut, Van Bernat. It's gone down. Wonder if that one will be given. Is it going to be given? It is. It is going to be given. And oh, it's going to be Mbappe. I am not taking it away from Mbappe. Up steps the Wonder Kid. And misses. Wow. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. I mean, it's one of those, isn't it, where if the keeper goes the right way, it makes the penalty look awful because it's a good height. But if the keeper goes the wrong way or stands still, it's a great penalty. I mean, it's a decent start. We, we've, we, we're doing as much as I would expect. We're winning the game. I am going to keep making little tweaks and things. Um, I've, I should. Oh, Danilo Pereira on his debut. Um, I've, I've been messing around. I've, I've got different defensive and attacking corners. I've just got a couple of different routines set up for each different side. And you can see the run there of Danilo. He comes in. He's got, I think he, he might be set on one of them to mark the keeper. And I think on one of them he's, he's set to attack from the edge of the area, which looks like that's what he did there. And he just steamed through everybody, didn't he? 
I mean, nobody was getting in his way. I mean, he's a unit, is Danilo. He's, he's a big lad. He's, he's well over six foot. And he just powered that in. This is a very satisfactory start. I'm happy with this at the minute. I mean, obviously, it's not really... It's, I mean, you could you could put out your under-23s, but... Oh, it's, I've, why? I've taken control of that. Why has it not done it? Oh, well, it's gone down well anyway. I will change that before the next episode. Well, before the next match, actually. I mean, we've got lots of shots on goal. Good possession. Lots of shots on goal. Which, I know we're playing a promoter club and a relegation favourite, but you've still got to get through them. Mbappe's in, it's a good save. Nardi, their keeper, is having an absolute blinder. I mean, so far, he's kept killing Mbappe out and has saved the penalty from him. So, I mean, he's, 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 having, a, he's having a good day. Um, yeah, as I was saying, so, I mean, I know it is a, a rubbish team that we're playing, but you've still got to beat them. You've still got to break them down. So I'm quite encouraged by the tactic at the minute, as Moise Kane scuffs that one. Just having a look, see who we could bring off. Maybe Mbappe, maybe Di Maria. I'll give it a little bit more yet. Mbappe. Oh, he's going all the way. It's a brilliant run. Unlucky. Uh, they're playing a very deep line, aren't they? So it's always going to be one of those games where he maybe struggles because he relies on his pace, obviously. So it's going to be one of those games where it's maybe not for him. Um, now, I have got players I can use. I mean, Moise Kane can go out there, actually, and we'll bring Mbappe off for Mauro Icardi, who probably isn't great because it's a pressing forward. That's a default setting. Uh, because it's a Gagan press style and you press from the front, don't you? So it, it's it's the default role for the striker, which I'm not particularly a fan of. Um, I don't really like that role, but we'll go with it. Danilo Pereira can come off. He's had a good debut. We'll just do two for now because there's quite a few players looking tired. So, yeah, we'll, we'll just do two. Juan Bernat in for Rafinha. I'm going to bring Verratti on, I think. I think that's going to be my next change. Florenze. It's a good tackle. It's a robust challenge. I was half expecting it to um, to go to a VAR review, that one. But we're still going. Mbappe's going to get to that. Final attack of his time on the pitch. Same for Danilo. And Danilo's going to crack one, but he's put it wide. Um... Yeah, Rafinha can come off now because he's just gone red and Verratti can come on because that's his role. Um, I'm going to praise them. We're a long way out from, the, we're 20 minutes from the end but a couple of them were looking a little bit unhappy and we've just totally, totally dominated this match. And we've got it back again here. Idrissa Gay to Di Maria. Moise Kane. Is he going to hit one of the ears? Oh, it's a terrible shot. This could be because I haven't got it set to work the ball into the box. So as soon as I get a sighting of goal, they're hitting it. Um, oh, we haven't got we haven't got the long shots option there. Let's stick that in. Yeah, I mean, 10 out of our 26 have been long shots, which isn't bad, to be fair. I mean, I don't. once it counts a long shot, anything outside the box? So the header comes in and Marquinhos... And Leandro Paredes comes off the bench to grab himself an assist. That is decent. I'm happy with this now as an opening day performance and result. And a couple of um, unlikely scorers in Danilo Pereira and Marquinhos. And in true football manager style, we've gone and lost a player to injury when we've made all our substitutions. I'm assuming... We, can we make... Oh, we might be able to make five. Yes, we can make five. Of course, we're at the start of the, we're, we're in the pandemic, aren't we? We're at the very start where you can do five. I forgot about that. That means Di Maria could come off as well then. And Pablo Sarabia can come on for him. 
And that is our five changes. I totally forgot about that. Wow, Lille. Did that say their goal difference was six? Wow, they have handed out a pasting on opening day. Uh, Lille, who have just won the league in this season. In real life, of course. So they could be our big com uh, big competitors. A Sarabia comes in. Oh, on the pitch for what? Two minutes. And he smashed it in for 4-0. Moise Kane played it out here. It's a good ball. Good searching ball. But, I mean, they've got numbers back. But he cuts inside. And this is what I like about the inside forward inverted winger rolls. They just come inside. And, I mean, they had everybody back there. And this has turned into a very, very, very satisfactory opening day now. And it could get a little bit better yet. Yeah? Moise Kane coming forward. He's going to cut inside. He, oh, he's gone for goal! Oh, did he mean that? I mean, it says he doesn't mean it. That's an outrageous goal if he did. It's a brilliant individual effort. But has he just missed it across? I'm not, I'm not so sure, you know. I could believe he's actually meant that. But it's a, it's a superb performance. Superb opening day win. 29 shots on goal. Again, yes, we are playing the team that will finish in the bottom two, you would have thought. But, you know, it was away from home. It's a completely new tactic. It's my first game in charge. And we've done that. That is brilliant. Loving that. And Mbappe didn't score. And include, in, indeed, missed a penalty. Um, yeah, they can have the day off. Why not? So, Lille beat Mets 6-0. So, Mets are going to be a, a struggling team as well. Um, but, yeah, that's, 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 that's all right. I'm quite happy with that. Quite happy with that. Um, right, now the plan is with this is I am planning on just sort of like playing a bunch of games and then coming back. I'm not, because we're, we're coming, I mean, we're not at the end of FM, but we're, we're in its twilight, aren't we? We're only, you know, four or five months away from, from 22 coming out, you would have thought. So I want to get, you know, get some seasons done. So I'm not going to say when I'm going to come back. Um, obviously we've got the Champions League group stage draw to come um, but I'm just going to come back when I come back and do an episode but they will come out regularly that is one thing I will say um, and yeah I hope you enjoy it forgive me for doing PSG but I've had a little twist so I'm hoping it keeps keeps you interested um, and I will see you very soon for whoever we play in the next episode but yeah, we've got uh, another week or so of the transfer window, so that'll be to catch up on when we come back. But as always, smash a like if you did enjoy it, guys. Subscribe as well if you're going to carry on and stick around and watch the series and turn on those notifications. And I will see you very, very soon for episode 2. Thank you very much for watching.